Hello and welcome to Obi Wan Name Daily News Updates. This is Umada Ugochinere bringing you this breaking news on Sunday, the 8th day of March 2020. Breaking news Angry mob attacks Hope Uzodema at Ohaji. A source has told Obi Wan Name News that a group of angry mob attempted to bounce on the governor of Imo State, His Excellency Hope Uzodema at Mahu Community in Ohaji Ebema local government area of Imo State. The youth of Mahu Community, who upon siphoned the governor's convoy, started shouting, Onyo she vote, Onyo she vote, started throwing bottles and weapons on the bulletproof. SUV of the governor's governor so says the wheel screen of the governor's SUV was broken by the angry mob another source tells over them however the governor was not allowed to come down from the car as security operatives whisked him away immediately meanwhile obi one name news is monitoring the situation closely and will not hesitate to bring in more details as soon as possible. Gowon is the sixth largest mass murderer in modern history, Kano. Following the recent statements by former head of state General Yakub Gowon on the marginalization of the Igbo nation and correctional measures to address it, the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Maz Nnamdi Kano, has lauded him, saying that General Yakub Gowon is the sixth largest mass murderer in modern history adding that no matter how hard he prays god can never answer him kanu said this while addressing the massive killings of judo christians and non-muslim tribes in nigeria via his radio biafra broadcast at late hours of saturday it could be recalled that general yakubu gohan had during a debate for national unity held in abuja said that the Igbo nation has suffered marginalization from the Nigerian state and also called for measures to be adopted to reverse the trend. During the debate, which was organized by Igbo Leadership Development Foundation entitled Federal Karata, Restructuring and Rotation of Presidential Power in Nigeria, the wartime head of state maintained that a constitutional debate on restructuring should look into issues of imbalances that has haunted the nation to correct it and promote equity. Kano, in response, assured that Nigeria will someday collapse and disappear without historical trace. This evening, we pray that the mercy of God descends upon all those who have been forcibly removed from their land. For our victims of genocide, victims of Fulani terrorism, for the victims of caliphate jihadist expressionalists, and also pray for Britain that they repent of their evil ways and do that which is right by allowing the terrible experiment and life-consuming Nigeria to cease to exist. The same way other evil empires has collapsed, same way one day shall nigeria collapse it doesn't matter how much those sinners and murderers pay kano went further to say that god can never entertain the prayers of murderers who slaughtered children mothers and even those unborn after all go on is the sixth largest mass murderer in modern history so his prayers can never be entertained by heaven god can never Listen to the prayers of those who are killers of mothers and children, even those unborn. Go on, the sixth largest murderer in the whole world. If he likes, let him pray from now to eternity. God will never answer his prayers. They can talk about presidency all they like. They can talk about restructuring all they like. They can talk about unity all they like. What we are requesting is Biafra, and that Biafra will be restored or else Nigeria will be worse than Somalia, Kano added. Please follow us for more news updates at obiwanimnews.com and also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We bring to you 
Exclusive World Politics Culture and Tradition Around the World Businesses Sports African News Entertainment and loud more. Visit Obi-Wan News dot com.